What's good, gente? Thank you guys once again, like always, for tuning in. As you guys can see on the thumbnail and on the title, right? Barrio Tales. Did I get exposed? Ah, oh, shit. Not another one. Well, gente, you guys already know how I am, man. If there's any video like that that you guys got questions or doubts, hey, bring it up to my attention. I will answer it, gente. This shit, that's off tops. Well, I guess Varios Tells um, ended up dropping a video where it talks about a certain case. I know exactly what case he's talking about, right? Where a Sudanio happened to get shot and killed right there in Target in Watsonville, right? Um, well, for, for everybody that was wondering, like, hey, is, is that Conejo right there? Because he looks dead on. Well, there's a couple of things on that video that, I mean, even though uh, he kind of got in the money, I will say there was a lot of things that were wrong, homie, you know, as well as the, on the other video. Because like I said, he ain't the first one to drop this video. I actually made a video myself explaining about this shit. But to answer the ones that didn't know about it or didn't see it or honestly think that that's me, I will answer this for you guys. So with all that being said, man, I would highly appreciate if you hit a like, subscribe, hit that follow, hit that notification bell. Because we will go live and if there happens to be any other questions... Or any doubts, right? That's honestly you the best your time. Boy Conejo, to be quite honest, man, I'm just going to be be real. <laughs> That's the best time right there. So with all that being said, man, thank you guys for all the love and support. And let's get right into this video. So Vario Tells ended up dropping a video where a Sureño ended up losing uh, his life, right? Right there at the parking lot, right there in Target. A lot of people, man, were actually thinking that that's actually me, right? Well, for the day oneers, you guys already know. I I don't really have to explain to you guys. But for the ones that are barely tuning in and, and barely, you know what I'm saying, getting with the program, uh, that's not your boy Conejo, right? It's someone that looks like me. Um, I will explain exactly who that person is. Both of them happen to be from my neighborhood. So I do know them personally, right? When this ended up happening, I want to say it was like 2011, 2012. I, I would have to really look it up again. Um, but your boy Conejo was already locked up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think I was in Ironwood, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I was already locked up. I will and say this. If I was out, more than likely, I would have got caught with them. <laughs> you know, so I'm kind of glad that I was already inside the, the system or and all that, right? Because more than likely, me and Lonely would have been doing all day, homie. <laughs> Spenza, eh? <laughs> Spenza, you know? But me and him probably would have been doing all day. And I know some people are getting some things confused. Like, they're probably like, man, uh, who is Lonely and who's actually Demon, right? Because Lonely looks like Conejo and Demon looks like, like fucking someone else. Well, look, gente, right? Demon happens to be my brother, right? That was something that they ended up getting really wrong on this video. The nicknames got mi mixed up. This person right here that you happen to see up that, that's actually doing live... Happens to be Lonely Boy. Free my boy Lonely Boy, right? And the reason why I say free Lonely Boy, because no matter what people say, bro, this is someone that would be considered my brother as well, homie. He lived with me, right, when he was like 14, 15. And let's just say this, man. My parents didn't care. He didn't have nowhere to go. And we opened our doors to him, right? So I honestly seen him as a brother as well. And just so that people know, right, because like I said in the past, I have the actual black and white. I don't have them on me, but I can get them, right? Shit, I got my brothers out here, so I can just snatch up his, his black and whites and actually display um, what actually went down. Because a lot of people actually get that part really, really wrong, right? Yeah, they, they, they gave that jacket to my brother due to the fact that he ended up dropping out, that he ended up going a whole different route. I won't say that he didn't snitch, you know what I'm saying? Um, I honestly... I can't say that, right? But I will say this. When it comes to actually reading the actual black and white, um, you can you can actually say that there was a couple... It wasn't just him, bro. It wasn't just him. So if the people that catch my drift and actually seen the black and white, you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. They technically done told on each other. You know, I'll, I'll just say that. But one is still active. Shout out to Lonely Boy. And, well, my brother's out here, homie, doing his, living his best life, homie. You know what I'm saying? He's not in that gang life. I've seen people say that he had joined a dropout gang for protection. Uh, there's a lot of things, like I said, man, that they get wrong. I don't know exactly where they end up getting, like, their actual facts. I mean, don't get me wrong. If they catch it on black and white, 
I always say black and white don't lie, gente, right? I always say that. But when it comes to articles and shit like that, things like that always fucking, they get pumped up, bro. You know what I'm saying? So that they can sell to the massives. But what ended up happening this day, right? Because uh, on that video on Barrios Tales, they did say that, um, I guess they were going to pack out the Sureño. And for the ones that were commenting like, oh, another poor cider down or another MSLer, I'm going to say this. The, the Sureño that did lose his life wasn't from Watson. You know, he wasn't from Watsonville. He happened to be from Oxnard. I think he was from Oxnard, if I'm not mistaken. I, like I said, I, I would have to go back through the paperwork. But he happened to be from Oxnard. They had seen him as an actual trophy, right? Like, hey, this is an actual Sureño. Because look, man, even though I don't think like that no more, you know, I always gave respects to the upstaters and all that, right? Back in the day, bro, well, when I was young, right, and, and in that lifestyle, I would, I would say, right, that they weren't real Sureños, which is something that I'm say I was wrong, homie. I'll, I'll admit that, right? I was wrong. But I would say that, like, hey, when I would see someone from actually down south, repping the sur you know it's like hey that's a real south sider bro we got to get that right and that's what ended up happening bro they ended up seeing this dude knowing that he wasn't from actually that area knowing that he was from somewhere down south and they wanted to put in work did my brother actually tell him let's get off and and, and, and run a fade i'm not sure gente i'm not sure you know what i'm saying i, I don't want to put words in no one's mouth um, but he does come around. So next time he comes around, I'll, I'll, I'll ask those questions, even though it's something that a lot of people don't like to talk about. Right. Uh, I will ask those questions for you guys. So what ended up going down, bro, after everything? Right. Well, after that shit had happened, they both ran a max. You know, they they were doing pretty good in max. But what ended up happening? Right. Because some people think that, oh, your brother got busted and technically ended up throwing the rat well no gente that's not how it actually went down so the homie lonely boy actually ended up coming um back to what's on you know from mexico like hey bro they ain't looking for me they don't got nothing on me um so he ended up actually coming back you know he ended up coming back he actually tried to go visit me wow actually uh while i was actually in solidad bro you know that's why i always give that the homeboy hella respect homie you know because no matter what people said about me that was always my boy and he would always continue to be my boy g the real ones know what's up but he ended up coming back and with time bro even though he thought he wasn't the good, you guys seen what Barrios tell. Um, he actually got that right on the money. That food that was left in that vehicle, that was actually the downfall, homie. When it came to the homie Lonely Boy, um, that was his downfall. They were able to get his DNA. Uh, when they actually busted my brother, I want to say not even, a, uh, not even a day later, homie, they ended up uh, snatching him up too. So they both pretty much got busted at around the same time. My brother ended up trucking it. Um, he was actually over there doing his 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 player thing, I guess, in Max. He was messing around with a lot of married women. <laughs> you know, he was actually doing a lot of paisanos dirty, man, by sleeping with their old ladies. You guys already know, man. If you happen to be from over here and you go over there, it's a whole different ball game, homie. And especially if you have a carita away, fuck, it's a rap. <laughs> you know, it happens to be a rap. And that's what ended up happening uh, with my brother, at least. They ended up ratting on him. Um, they told some some officer in Mexico, like, hey, this fool's on the run, you know, for, for this and this, just to get him out the way. And it worked, you know. It actually worked uh, on whoever actually did that shit. They ended up snatching him up, and they ended up sending him over here. You know, after he got sent over here, of course, a lot of things ended up changing. Um, oh, boy, dropped out. Instead of actually going to a chomo tank, he decided to go to a rider tank, you know. And that's why a lot of people end up saying that, oh, he ended up joining for protection and all this shit. No, he ended up going over there knowing the fact that he had a brother. He, he had a brother that was technically part of that group. And they weren't going to do nothing to him, G. You know, those are just facts, way. But when it comes to uh, this video, the Barrios tale, I'll just say this. It's a good video. It's a good video. There's a lot of things that weren't right on. But, I mean, it's close. It's close enough, gente, you know? But for everybody that actually thought that that was me and that I actually got exposed, <sighs> buena suerte, bro. You know, I'll just say that I've been exposed like seven times already. And on all of them, G, they, 
They haven't been able to get it right on the money, homie. I've been an open book. <laughs> all I gotta, that's all I gotta tell you guys, bro. Ask all the any question that you guys may have about your boy Conejo on the live, and I will answer you, bro. I have no problem answering that straight up. So with all that being said, hint, I hope I was able to answer a few of you guys' questions when it comes to this incident. It's, it wasn't me. Yeah, it was homies from my neighborhood. It was my brother. But it wasn't your boy Conejo, man. So all you guys that thought that your boy Conejo was like, damn, he got exposed. He's a rat. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> Straight up, homie. Straight up, G. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you're going to get the finger, homie, just for being a player hater. Straight up, homie. So with all that being said, hint that I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, man, make sure to hit a like for your boy. Make sure to subscribe, hit that follow, hit that notification bell. Because we will go live today, man. And I know that there's a lot of things we got to talk about, bro. Because I know in Mexico, fuck. I, I party too much. I'll just say that. So with all that being said, gente, make sure to hit all those good things. Thank you guys once again for all the love and support. And I'll catch you guys on the next one, man, or on the live. So for anyone that's, that was thinking, man, that your boy got exposed, I'm sorry to break the news, carnal. It's not going to be that easy. And I'm like... Anyways, I just want to send a shout out to you. Let me hang out. Convict perspective with Flaco homie said he'll No 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 wait 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 got it convict perspective with Flaco homie said perspective with Flaco homie said perspective with Flaco homie said got it got it active dropouts PC homo sex offenders gunners don't you sex offenders gunners don't you Fingers, gunners, don't you, don't you, fingers, gunners, don't you.